Magandang Tuesday sa inyong lahat. Welcome sa December 15, 2020 edition ng The Stock Market Today. Nine days na lang Pasko na. Ako po si Benji Chidoro, nag-aanyaya na samahan ninyo ako at sabay natin tingnan ang pinakalatest na balita tungkol sa inyong paboritong stocks. Kasama po dyan ang latest na balita sa credit cards which will bring us to the performance of some of our financial stocks. At ang resulta ng trading sa ating PSE ngayong araw, December 15, 2020, dito lamang sa The Stock Market Today. Our PSE index ended at uh, 7227.73 or 53.62 points down, 0.74% decline. And if we we'll take a look at our market summary or market activity, 128 companies declined, 95 advanced, while 49 remained unchanged. While on the sectoral indices, only the financials registered a positive result at uh, 0.05 percent the decliners was led by the holding companies at 1.13 percent as for the most active stocks we will be reviewing the following mbt ali bdo smph tel urc sm rlc bpi and pha by the way if you have uh, stocks in mind that you wanted me to review please comment on the comment box and I will prioritize the stock. Okay, so let's now go to the first stock. So MBT. Okay, MBT. MBT declined today. Let's put up our indicators. By the way, I use the exponential moving average as my indicator, the 20-day, which is my short term, the 50-day, which is my medium term, and the 100-day, which is the long-term indicator. The orange line is the 20-day, the blue line is the 50-day, and the black line is our long-term 100-day. MBT declined today, but it is still right under the indicator. Now, it looks like there is a change in trend, or it's just probably consolidating, because the candlestick is still under the EMA 20, or the exponential moving average the 20-day exponential moving average. However, there is there appears to be a bearish divergence on the RSI, but it's still considered as uh, 60.13, which is still quite bullish. So the nearest support that I see for MBT would be here at 46.68. I expect the stock to move sideways, support and resistance lang siya. Okay? There is the support and the resistance nearest is here, 51.73. Okay, so let's now take a look at Ali. By the way, the index uh, will be moving sideways until possibly the end of the year because some of the companies would, would tend to window dress. So Ali continues to, actually it's a red candlestick, but the candlestick is a higher candlestick. So Tingin ko dyan is, nagpapahinga lang yung stock. And if we will draw a trend line, yan yung trend line ng stock. Actually, if we will draw a channel, let's draw a channel instead. Yan basically yung channel ni, ni Ayal lang. No? It will just move it in the channel. And the nearest support, I would say, the nearest support would be the EMA 20, 39.19. And now it's at 41.30. It will retest the next resistance level, the next support level at the MA20, which is 39.19. Next, let's take a look at BDO. Okay, BDO. BDO had a hammer. Actually, it's a it's a short candlestick. Okay, meron siyang dividends. 
and it broke it is now within the resistance area at 14. Actually, what I've shared with you, shared with you before was that the resistance, the first resistance area was 11, and it broke that. Now it's at 14. Now the next resistance level will be 25. Actually, po na memorize ko na yung resistance level because I, I take a look at the stop daily. Yan yung next resistance level at 25, 26 level. Now when I talk of support and resistance, they are not exact points but areas. So, major bullish on stop. And if you take a look at the RSI, it's overbought at 72. But if you take a look at the DMI, the directional movement, it is at 35. Meaning, it doesn't really matter if the RSI is oversold because there is a definite trend. Okay, let's take a look at SMPH. SMPH is the mall business of SM. Sa ngayon, nagko-consolidate lang si SM, ano? Pero magpunta kayo sa mall, pagka-weekend, ang daming tao. Halos akala mo walang pandemic. Sa ngayon, nagko-consolidate lang siya and it will continue to move within the support of 37 and a resistance of near resistances here. 40. 3983 to 40. Okay. Then, let's take a look at TEL. Okay, TEL. TEL is moving sideways, actually. When you see the indicators piercing through the candlesticks, nag-move lang siya ng side sideways, no? So, right now, TEL had a slight increase, but it will just move within support and resistance in parallel with the PSE index. Uh, TEL is an index stop, and the nearest resistance is at 1420, or 14 to 14.25 and the nearest support would be here 12.88 to 12.90 so dyan lang siya magmove next let's take a look at URC URC continues to move higher although there is a red candlestick here I have a position here and my target price is 180 so if you'll see the candlestick talagang right well it's right under the candlestick indicating a bullish momentum. The RSI is just tamalang at 59 or 60 which would indicate also a bullish momentum. Pero mukhang nagpa-plateau na siya because if you draw a trend line on the RSI, pababa siya. Kahit pataas siya, the RSI doesn't rise that much. So mukhang nagpa-plateau na siya. So, tingin ko dyan is dyan. It will, it will just move within the resistance of it tested the latest resistance here at 157. Just a moment. And the support of 140 to 141. Okay? Then let's take a look at SM. SM is the holding company of SMBH, BDO, China Bank. Yan. Yan yung mga businesses niya. Meron siyang banko, meron siyang malls, meron siyang investment company. Yan. Meron real estate. So, tingin ko rin dito is that although it's still under the candlestick and uh, it has, it appears to have a bullish trend. Ang tingin ko dyan is sideways lang ang galaw niya. Kasi it has moving that way ever since, you know? Since uh, it started November 10. Uh, let's draw a box instead. So, if you draw a Darvas box on SM, dyan. Diyan siya nag, oops, diyan siya maglalaro within that box with a resistance of 10.94 and a support of 9.94. Then, let's take a look at RLC. Alam mo, RLC, uh, pataas siya ng pataas, although ang target price ko dito was 21. Nag-out na ako dito sa 21 because uh, masaya na ako dun sa price na yun. But I was able to get in at November 11, mga 16 pesos. So, ang, ang aking profit dyan, if I were able to enter here at November 11, mga 40%, more or less. Mga 39 or 38%. Anyway, so RLC continues to move higher, pero tingin ko nagpla-plateau na yung, yung stock. Eh. And uh, I think after this, magko-consolidate na lang siya. So, if it continues to move higher, then the next resistance would be here. 
2445 to 2450. Ngayon, maaari mag-consolidate mo na yan before it continues to move higher. Okay, next is BPI. BPI continues to consolidate. If you'll take a look at the MA20, nag-pierce lang siya. Slightly up siya today by one point. Pero, ganyan lang siya. Uh, consolidation lang siya. So, I think if, right now, it is just moving within this area here. 84, 672 is the resistance while the support is at 79.80. Okay, now let's take a look at the news on the banks, on the credit cards. So that involves the banks which has credit cards. It's Metro Bank, BDO, and BPI. Ang sabi dito sa news dito, ah uh, no, here. So this came from Philstar. Credit card delinquency source ahead of anticipated holiday binge. The proportion of credit card holders unable to settle their, their bills on time is on the rise approaching the holiday season when consumers are expected to spend more and swipe their cards more often. The delinquency rate represented by unpaid credit card use over the total bill surged to 11.5%. Wow! As of September from 4.36, medyo malaki yun, ha? in the end of 2019. The Credit Card Association of the Philippines said the number was also up from 10.5% recorded in August data show. Credit card delinquency occurs when a cardholder was a poor has a poor payment history and fre frequently pays bills way past due date. The credit limit of delinquent borrowers are also often maxed out, which may be a sign of strained income. Okay, so maraming mga tao ngayon na halimbawa um, nawalan sila ng trabaho they use their credit card to pay for bills or to go to pay their groceries no which is in effect a, a loan a loan from the bank although sinasabi natin credit no but it's actually utang yan eh if you are not able to pay on due date then it becomes past due and you are charged an interest rate which boils down to living within your means, di ba? So, medyo delikado, delikado ang some of the banks here because yung delinquency rate is quite high, 11.5%. Alam niyo, when I was still younger, I thought that having a credit card would make me invincible. But I was wrong. In fact, kasi pagka may credit card ka, malakas ang loob mo eh. Pero... I learned that lesson hard, the hard way. And, <laughs> bili ako ng bili. Pagdating ng payment time, wala akong maibayad. Anyway, that is a story, another story which I will share with you um, sometime later because it is a lesson in financial and money management. Okay, so that's our news on credit cards and let's get back to BPI. In other words, dyan lang siya maglalaro. Oh, let me share with you the comment of BDO Nomura on that news. Ang sabi niya, the, the rise in credit card delinquencies is expected with retail loans largely driving the uptick in NPLs, meaning non-performing loans for the industry. Nonetheless, we believe our co covered banks, BPI, MBT, and SECB, are well prepared to accommodate rising NPL risks, having boosted their NPL covers to 100%, to 174% in quarter the third quarter of 2020. So that is a commentary of video Nomura. In short, yung kanyang mga target price on the banks will not change. By the way, ang target price ni video Nomura on BPI is, let me check. Ang BPI, ang target price niya is 89. While for Metro Bank, the target price is 53. And then for SECB, Security Bank, target price niya is 112. So, yeah. way past target price yung pressure. Okay, next let's take a look at PHA, our last stock. Okay, PHA had a morning star yesterday and nagkaroon ng confirmation na Nagpla-plateau na siya, no? Meron siyang red candlestick today, which is probably a sign of reversal. Another red candlestick would confirm that reverse in trend. 
Yan, yan ang tingi ko dito sa Premier Horizon. Na-reach ang actually ang kanyang resistance. I'm taking it at 110. While the support, near support is here. So tingi ko dyan is it may test the support level of 86. Yan po ang ating report sa stock market, December 15, 2020. Ito po si Benji Chidoro. Nagpapaalala on investment in knowledge pays the best interest. Thank you for staying with me in this episode. Maraming salamat and see you tomorrow. Bye for now.